Right, we're going to be looking at solving an equation with fractions that leads to a quadratic equation today. So here's our fractions. You see you've got a linear term on the bottom here and a linear term on the bottom here. And if they're not the same thing, then what's going to happen is you're going to get a quadratic. So let's start off by t writing this question out. So I'm going to get 2 over 5x plus 5 plus 5 over 3x plus 3. It's always a good idea to write out the original question when you start doing your working. Now, the first thing you want to do is get rid of these fractions. Now, I'm going to do it in two steps because I want to show you what really should be happening. So, first of all, I'm going to undo this 2 divided by 5x plus 5. And therefore, I'm going to times both sides by 5x plus 5. Now, when you times a side by something, you must times every term by that thing. Now, terms are separated by plus, equals, and minus signs. We don't have any minus signs between our terms. So this separates that term and that term out. This separates that term and that term out. Every term must be multiplied by the thing you're going to multiply by. So we must multiply everything by 5x plus 5. So let's start off by doing that. 5x plus 5 times this term, so times by 2 over 5x plus 5 plus, now we're going to times this one as well by 5x plus 5 over 3x plus 3. And that is equal to, now we must times this by 5x plus 5. Okay, and what we can see is that this can cancel out with this just to leave us two. So we've undone the 5x plus 5 there. That was the whole point. So we're going to get two. Now we're times everything by 3x plus 3. So we must times this by 3x plus 3. So let's do that. And we want to times this by 3x plus 3. So we're going to get 3x plus 3 times 5x plus 5 times by the 5 all over 3x plus 3 equals, and we go times this by 3x plus 3. And what we can see again, you've got 3x plus 3 times everything on the top and 3x plus 3 times everything on the bottom, so we can now cancel those out. So let's now just simplify this by multiplying out these brackets, so we get 6x plus 6. And we're going to get plus, we're going to times this out, we get 5x times 5 is 25x, plus 5 times 5 is another 25. Multiply this out, well, I'm going to do the two brackets first. So I'm going to have 5 times whatever this two brackets, so we get 5x times 3x will give me 15x squared, 5x times 3 is another 15x, 3x times 5 is another 15 x and 3 times 5 will give me another 15 on the end here. Right, so I'm going to scroll this up so this, my head doesn't get in the way of the working. Right, so now we want to simplify this side and we're going to get 31x, 6x plus 25x, 31x plus another 31. We'll equal multiply this out, we're going to get 75x squared. We've got 15x and 15x, which is 30x, times by 5 will give me 150x. And then we've got 15 times 5 is another 75. Now, with quadratics, we always want to get everything onto the same side. I'm going to put everything on this side, but well, it's actually put everything on this side, but I'm going to write it over here because I like the equals naught. So I'm going to get 75x squared. There's no x squared to take away from it, so I'm going to write 75x squared. Then I've got 150x minus 31x will give me 119x. I've got 75 minus 31, and that will give me plus 44. And that, therefore, I've taken everything off this side, so this must be equal to 0. Now, when you get something like this, it's a really hard quadratic to factorise. And actually, um, in this one, it's actually easier than you'd expect because actually, if you do 75 plus 34, you can spot that they um, add up to give you um, 119. So that's quite handy. So what that tells me is, is that in the first bracket, I must have a 75x. And then I'm going to need a 44 
times what's in the second bracket. And then I'm going to get the plus 1 here. So I get plus 1 times 44 to give me that. I get 1 times 75x plus 44x gives me the 119x. And then I get the 75x times the x to give me the 75x squared equals 0. So therefore, x must equal minus 44 over 75. Because remember, if you've got two things times together to give you 0, one of them must be 0. So either this equation equals 0, which if you solve that equals to 0, you get minus 44 over 75. Or this must equal 0. So you get all minus 1. So our answers to this question are minus 44 over 75 or minus 1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to show you, if you can't factorize this, you can use the quadratic formula. Now at this stage you may or may know, not know the quadratic formula, so I'll go through it quickly. So let's just scroll down. The quadratic formula is if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, a is how many lots of x squared you got, b is how many lots of x, and c is the number on the end. Then x will equal minus b plus or minus, so there's two possible ways you can do it, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And what you do is you work out, in this case, a equals 75, b equals a plus 119, and I say that because a common mistake is not to realize if you've got a minus here, b will be minus 119. So if you do a minus and minus, you'll get a plus. And c is plus 44. Remember, if you have a minus here, then c will be minus 44. And we're going to put those everywhere in this formula. Now, rather than writing all that out, what I've done already is I have put it into a cal uh, an online calculator. This is the Desmos Scientific Calculator. It's really nice type things in as you see them. So you can see that my minus b, so my b value was 119. So everywhere the b value occurs, I put 119. And you can see everywhere seven, a is 75. We know that a equals 75. So everywhere I have the a, I put 75. And last but not least, we know that c is 44. So we put that in. And the 2 was from here. Okay, and similarly, I've done the same here. I've done b into here because you can't do plus or minus and get the calculator to give you it. You actually have to type it out twice once with the plus symbol and once with the minus symbol to get the plus or minus, and they give you your two answers. And that's how you use the quadratic formula to get the same answer.